Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 15 of Let's Play Super Mario 2D Land, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we got like, uh, one more level to go, and then we, whoa, got like, all 400 coins. Unless there's more, but that last door in Peach's Castle said we needed 400. Hopefully it was the last door, I mean seriously. You need 400 coins to go through this door. Oh, you need 405 for the next one. Come on, man. Now I gotta make like two trips. Don't do that to me. Ooh, this is a tight squeeze. I had to get that prana plant shooting like lower to make sure I didn't have to go all the way back. Jeez, if you don't have a fire flower, this level sucks. Cause you can't kill these enemies. You have to wait for the fire to get away. I should have came back with power-ups, but yeah, I figured I'd just chance it. And now I'm starting to reap the, the benefits or, well, the harm of doing this. Okay, I don't want to advance too far up. I want to take a good look at my surroundings first. Before we go. Perfect. Those potables don't reach. And this is this level's not too terrible compared to other ones. I mean we've dealt with other levels that have been even more painful than this. Oh, and then they just make it dark. Okay, I'll just follow the coins or do that, yeah. Cheating! <laughs> I know, it's cheap, but come on. I hate dealing with darkness like that. Oh, looks like I'm gonna need a key in order to advance. Okay, let's be on the lookout for one. Better not be invisible. I deal with enough crap as it is when it comes to darkness. But the coins are a dead giveaway once again. And I'm okay with that. What's the point of going this way? Oh, that's why. Oh, oh. Perfect. I know there was a coin up there to the left. I got to advance if I want to get there, though. Okay, so far so good. Well, oh, oh ooh, almost lost my cape. As soon as I said, so far, so good, then I could have botched it. And I did botch it, because I'm a moron. But maybe I'll get another one here. Yes, I do. Okay, one more coin. Then I should have all of them? What the hell? That little tight squeeze. Uh, I think I'm gonna need a... Oh, never mind. I thought I needed a P-switch, and I realized, oh, I can just do that. What's over this way, though? Oh. Okay, if I had a feather, I could have got there right away. I didn't kill that, uh, Koopa, did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't. Hey, you know what? I'll just take the shell. Oh, come on, game. Be nice. Okay, now I can kill the shell. And that's all the coins. 400 coins. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, no! I needed a key. So, yeah. Looks like we're not done yet. Now I gotta go find ourselves a godforsaken key. And it's probably over here. Yeah, we never even explored this path. Oh, okay. That was actually very easy to find. Perfect. <laughs> oh! I almost paid again for being impatient. Could have really paid the price right there. What? Oh! Coin blocks. Why would you put that there? It's just a singular coin. 
That's trolling. And that's just for a three up moon. You know, it's pretty easy to get if you don't disable that layer. I mean, easy if you do disable that layer for the darkness. I believe in a thing called love. <laughs> I think that should be enough. Let me put the darkness back on. Yep. Good, there was another feather. Oh, now we got the yellow Koopa. Oh, and it just spawns fire whenever it goes back to normal. So I'll just wait over here. I wonder if it just has, like, all the power-ups of the other Koopas just put into one. Wouldn't surprise me. Huh! Jeez, I can just wait right here. As long as I'm, like, under the rope and stuff. Oh! Well, the big guy can still get me. Duly noted. Let's wait for this guy. Oh, okay, he's dead right away. I was saying just wait for him to land in the middle, and then just get under the rope, so those little Koopas can't get me. I want to go to the Mushroom House, but that would have been a long wait. And it might be on the other side of this pipe anyway. We'll find out. Oh, this gives you, like, last level feel. But remember, I saw a pipe on the other side. It wouldn't be the last level, otherwise we'll just cut to the credits. And we wouldn't be able to see what's on the other side of that pipe. Okay, I really like this music, but I feel like it cuts out a bit too much in this particular version. Feels like it's just weird. Oh, I want that. Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. Hmm. I have to make a run for it. Oh, yeah, that was fair. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I should have jumped. Could have taken two hits there if my invincibility time wasn't that long. And let's just go. Oh, the potable was in that kind of timing. Yep. Careful. Oh, there's the key. I didn't even think I needed one. Turns out I do. That could have been dangerous, because when you're big, these kinds of gaps are almost a bit too wide for your character, unless you're ducking. Good thing I am big, or I can't get that coin. Okay, one more to get. It's right over here. Yeah. Yes! Those don't shoot the lasers, do they? No. It should be fine. They're not, like, all the way up there. Oh, that one is! Oh, okay. Just barely dodged that one. These are active lasers. Okay, I got two loads of power-ups. I guess we just fight Bowser again. I mean, we fought him before. Wait, baby Bowser? He's on a skateboard! That's so cute! I would say Bowser Jr., but it kind of looks more like the baby Bowser from Yoshi's Island. Yeah, it's Bowser Jr. You can actually see the health right there. You can see his name. You can take two more hits. Okay, one more hit. And now he's dead. 405 times 0 equals 0. Oh shit, that means I have 0 advance coins after this. Okay, what's over here? Oh, the finale! Uh, I don't want to go that way yet. Alright, I guess we are going to have to backtrack after all. Unless there actually was a mushroom shop on the other side of that pipe. I could do with another power-up, though. 
before we go on to the castle. It all goes according to plan. This could be the last episode. I'm very excited that we're finally going to finish this. Alright, let's do this. Come on, please let it be something good and not like two, three up moons. Because seriously, I could have just gone through that other door twice. Come on, give me something good. Something really good. Come on. What's over here? 400 coins. 410? Oh. What the hell is this? There's nothing. They put nothing there. What the flying frig? There's not a damn thing. Look. Look. There's not even any hidden doors. There's just a big pile of nothingness. I'm thinking, oh, maybe there's a P-switch lying around. You know, maybe you'll unravel a blue door, but no. There is not a damn thing. What was the point of that room? Oh, that was the ultimate F you right there. And I was saying earlier, oh, I got 400 coins. Oh, you need 405 for the next reward. Turns out this one needed 410. So in other words, the last five coins are here. <laughs> and there's like three of them right away. That's very thoughtful of the game. If I go through this door, I'm just going to be... Oh, I'll be sent out. I guess I could have got these power-ups anyway. Jeez. I, I kind of regret going to the mushroom house now. There was only two of them. Wait a minute. I'm guessing there's... Maybe a P-switch lying around. That can unravel a hidden door. It just feels like if I go through that red door, I'm going to the boss right away. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go right on. Oh! I'm not dealing with this. I'm not fighting Bowser in the dark. I'm sorry. That's not gonna happen. You can forget it. I'm not fighting Bowser like this. Oh. Okay, so, if I find him, it's over. Then where were the other two coins? I did not see anything. Like, there was no invisible blocks for a P-switch. Just, where the hell were those other two coins? Maybe the coins are actually hidden in these blocks. So, I'm going to extend the fight a little bit just by having Bowser break every single block. We might find it. That'll be so weird if that was the case, but... I just have a hunch. Then again, you can probably see the advanced coins for these blocks. But what if you couldn't? Now, it just feels so iffy to me. You don't go through a lot of ROM hacks without your own kinds of suspicions. Like, what if? What if this? What if that? You, you gotta pay attention to these kinds of things. Turns out I could be wrong the whole time, but still. I have my inkling of a hunch. And it may be a very terrible one, don't get me wrong, but let's face it, we got over close to 300 seconds anyway. I can afford to wait this out. I mean, Bowser's gonna die anyway. Yeah, I mean, if you had to have Bowser way too far out, just finding him would be impossible. You had to pay attention to the flames themselves. You know, maybe there were no coins in here. Like, absolutely nothing. Wait a minute. I could go through the wall! Well, half of it at least. Can I do that for this one too? Oh my god. 
That is so janky. I don't think that was meant to happen, though. You know, there could be a second phase the whole time. And then we'd just be looking like idiots. Okay, so, we almost got all the blocks unraveled. You know what, I don't think there are gonna be any coins. Like, even if they just put one there, I mean, that doesn't explain the other one. Huh? Did that just create a door somewhere? Oh! It's telling me to go down! Okay. There was another phase. Um... Where are these Goombas coming from? Is Bowser laying them? Oh, crap. Oh, you killed both the enemies, you scum! I mean, I just gotta throw enemies right at Bowser. That's a pretty easy boss. Seems a bit anticlimactic to me, though. Oh, until that happens. Oh, the time. Now you got Paraba Bombs. That one just went right over him. Okay, now I'm botching my time way too much. Okay, good. That worked. Uh, I don't think the... The bomb blast hit him though. Oh god, now he's just throwing way too many hammers. They're coming out of his dick. That, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Oh man. Is this gonna work? Oh, it went right over him. Oh, that did it. Oh my god, there was another phase! I think I burned myself. He can't go through the donut blocks. I kind of frigged it up. I should have been just going for it. Yeah, I really screwed the pooch. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I didn't think there'd be like... Three Bowser battles you gotta have. So now I gotta do them all. Oh yeah, I forgot this is just a direct exit. Ugh. Well, now we gotta do all this again. Isn't that fun, kids? And grown adults. Well, most of my fan base is adults anyway, but still. Ugh. I'm I'm really sorry, guys. But I, I guess I'll meet you back at the third phase. Give me a moment. Okay, we made it back to the third phase, and I'm an idiot because I t triggered that right over there. So now I lost a flower. I got too trigger happy. And look what happened. I gotta bring this guy down. Okay, getting rid of all those donut blocks will do the trick. I don't really need these, either. What's gonna happen? He's gonna get back up again, isn't he? Well, if that works for me, these flames can't get me. Is this the final phase, or there's... Well, this gotta be the final phase. Because, well, how else is he gonna get me? I mean, seriously, this is pretty much all there is to it. Wait a minute, what if the coins, or the two coins, are going to be on this side? Normally, you would approach this fight by having them go through the left side. What if they're on the right side? Here I am getting paranoid again, but I feel like the last two coins should be found. Unless you defeat Bowser and the last two coins are given to you anyway. I don't know what's real anymore. So you know what, let's just finish him off. If I don't find them now, I'll find them eventually. I think this is it. 
Oh, there's another door. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, well, I guess we get to hear the ending music. Yeah, it's over. Thank you, Mario. You saved me. Bowser is defeated. Have you collected all the advance coins? I have now. So, goodbye, Peach. I'm not going to save you anymore. I came for the key. Yeah, I got the key. Key, 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 key. Oh, maybe I should let the princess out or I'm going to die. There you go. Oh, and we get the credits anyway. Super Mario 2D Land. Well, we could have seen the credits while we were actually in the previous level where we fought Master Hand. But you know what? Let's just watch the credits right here. I would say that's it with Super Mario 2D Land, but I do want to go back to the castle now that I got 410 coins. I can finally see, see what's at the end of them. No, oh, apparently this guy used three different versions of Lunar Magic. Probably just different patches as he was working on this hack. So yeah, we, we made it through Super Mario 2D Land. Well, the levels at least. I am very curious as to what's going to be at the end of that door. If there's absolutely nothing like the previous door had, I would be so angry. Because I mean, that's just all that work gone down the drain. Seriously. Can't really do anything with the credits other than just move. So there you go, that's where I got the hacks. SMWcentral.net. Oh, there's a pipe. Huh! Not like there would have been anything else over there anyway. Where does this pipe lead? Oh! It sends you all the way back here! Okay, I was wondering where that pipe led. Everything goes full circle, literally. Uh, just in case, I'm going to get some power-ups. I mean, what if there's, like, a super boss waiting for me? You gotta be prepared for just about anything. Anything can happen in these hacks. So give it to me straight. What's waiting for me at the end of the 410 coin door? Why is he still telling me about the advance coins? I got every one of them! Please be something good and not something terrible. Or something, period! Like, I'm still mad that 400 coin door had nothing. 410 coins. This is it, everyone. Whoa! Congratulations! You found every advanced coins in... You found every advanced coins in this game. 410 coins. Watch the credits. Choose the last door. I don't want to watch the credits. I already watched the credits. Okay. Wait a minute. Is this a v v v v v v level? Oh my god, it is! I wonder if I have to collect all these uh, relics or something. I think that's what they were called in v v v v v v. Shit, that was close. Cause I remember there was like so many of them you had to collect in the game. There's like 20 of them? They're not actually... Oh, they are coins. Okay. I remember when I Let's Play that game. That was awesome. I can't interact with that? That was like a very awesome game. I did some user-submitted levels. They were quite fun. Yeah, I, I don't think I have to collect every single one of these. I do have to get a key, though. And yet, this gets Quick Man's music from Mega Man 2. Kinda wish they put in like a custom track from this game. I remember this game had very epic music. That was not an epic way to die, by the way. Or that. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll, I'll just hug the left wall. Be a lot safer that way. Oh. There. 
Oh, there's actual Mario enemies here. Eh. Whoa, that was close. Wispy Woods? Okay, we're going completely out there. Okay. That is so strange. Oh, I guess I need this apple. Oh, you can't jump on the apple. And I tried jumping on it again like an idiot. Can I spin jump on it? No. Okay. Well, what am I supposed to attack him with, then? Or am I just supposed to outlast him for a bit? So I know I can't grab that stuff. That's just his air. Oh. I thought you could grab it, but you have to just not jump on it. That's not gonna work. Okay, you can actually touch his body. That's weird. Like, how do you fight him? I don't really have anything to attack him with. You can't grab the apples. I thought you could. But nope, that's not possible. I mean, look. You jump on him and then you die. Is he really supposed to release something else? Yeah, I just want to make sure that that's not what you can grab. Okay, what am I supposed to do? It's not obvious to me. And now he's just repeating attack patterns. I guess if I just hide over here, I mean... The air can't get me. But now he's not using apples anymore. Oh! I was supposed to just, like, wait over here let the apples bounce to him! That's what I was supposed to do. But if he doesn't spew apples for the rest of the fight, then I'm in trouble. And I won. But the time is still going. Oh, but you get fresh time anyway. Good. Oh. Well, at least the mushroom doesn't explode when it hits spikes. Yeah, so this is really a super level. Oh, really? I didn't think it was going to be like that. Oh, God. Whoa, they scroll way too much. Could have easily gone to the spikes myself. This is interesting. I like this kind of level. And they give you more time whenever you finish a part of it. Just to show you don't have to do all this in one single run. Because what if there's no checkpoint? It might be near impossible. You have to be perfect. Oh, how much they scroll can be scary sometimes. Okay, now it's getting a bit tedious. Where's the end of this? Because I don't see it. Look, it's still going! This might go on forever! Just leave you dangling on the precipice with maybe 10 seconds remaining. Oh, there you go. Looks like I see a boss door on top. But I have no power-ups. So this could be frightening. If I get nothing to, you know, soak up a couple of hits. Oh, never mind, I got something. I gotta fight Wiggler again? I already fought you. Fine, go up the wall, I don't care. It's the last phase I'm worried about when he splits apart. So, I better be ready for it. Like that, see? There, now he's dead. You again? Oh, but there's spikes on the wall this time. Okay, this one might actually make the fight harder. Because Zan B can actually get caught in the spikes. 
That's what I gotta worry about. Because he could go just about anywhere now. He was kind of jerking a little bit. Did you see that? Okay. Remember, it's like, I think it's four hits to kill him. Oh, I don't know why I fell for that. Should have been able to avoid that attack. But I couldn't. Sorry. <laughs> How many bosses do I have to fight, though? I guess we'll find out. Oh, three hits that time. Oh, you again? Okay, I get it. We gotta fight bosses. So how many of them are there gonna be? This is gonna be a lengthy finale. Or at least it'll be a good one. Okay, let's do this. Captain K. Rule. I love how the game espouses you as having an alliance with Bowser. You know, as if I'm talking to the real K. Rule. But yet, you only fight him once. And he's just like a standard boss, like all the others. Then you don't fight him again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh god, I'm, a, I'm in slow mode. I think I can still make this work. Oh, good, it wore off. Getting that flower almost cost me. At least I was able to avoid all the other ones. Ugh. Definitely gotta avoid these. Alright, where are you gonna show up, K. Rule? Ugh! when that happens, when they spawn right on top of you. Almost did that again. Oh, did it again, that time. Alright, that's the final hit. Done. Th so, that was the final one? Okay. Awesome, so... I guess that's it. That's Super Mario 2D Land for the SNES. Super Mario World ROM hack, of course. So, we beat all the levels, we got all the coins, and we even beat the special level, which resulted in a rematch with Captain K. Roll, which is a bit anticlimactic, but what I think about this hack overall, I thought it was a good challenge. Some of the levels were a bit tedious, but fun at the same time. Well, for most of them. But anyways, this is the Bonga signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. As for that next Let's Play, it's likely going to be the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I got a couple runs done already, so I'll be putting them up shortly. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.